the price of a shirt was marked up from $12 to $30. What is its percent of increase? My goodness, folks, that's a big markup. That's more than double the price, all right, than what it was originally, all right? That's what happens when you go to stores and buy things. You know, they mark it up and then they bring it down. So let's take a look at our problem of the day. Here we go. The price of shirt was marked up from $12 to $30. What is our percent of increase? So the first thing we got is figure out how much did it go up? How much did it go up? Well, you look at that, $12 to $30. I thought for a minute, did it go $28? You know, you got to remember to borrow, right? You all got me on that. So it's going to be more like $18 is going to be our increase. So that's important to know because you see, we're looking for what is the percent of the increase. Now, this is one of those situations where I want everybody to be very careful. So many times we hear the word of and say, oh, you know, that's where we put that with the base or the total part of the proportion. It's got a little bit twisting to it, all right? What we've got to figure out is what's really going on here? Where did we start? That's the base. That's the base price. And folks, that is at 12. So here we go. We're going to start with our base right there at 12. We've already decided we went up $18. That was the increase, all right? So notice this didn't quite follow that little is of game, all right? It doesn't always do that. You've got to read for context a lot of times, all right? So this time we've got 18 over 12. Let's kick along here. Now we can definitely get the percent over 100. That's never going to fail you. That is never going to fail you. You're always going to be looking for the percent over 100. And, you know, let's check it out. See what we get on this. See what we get, all right? Cross multiplying. I see, I see. Let's see where we're going here. I'm going to say 12x. And we get this other thing, this 18 times 100, add a few zeros, add a couple of zeros actually. And you're going to get 1,800. Notice those are easy multiplications. You don't need to go to a calculator to add two zeros, do you? No, 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 no. None of you do out there. You're your math line folks, all right? Let's do some dividing now. Let's divide by 12. And I look at that and I think about it. And you know what? I said, maybe I'll go to a calculator on this. Let's try that out, all right? We got 1,800. Because I understand we're going to have some calls here today, so we want to move this show along. So we're going to divide by 12. Wow. Let's see what we get. 150. Your X is 150. And you know what? That's called a percent. Not 1.5, but 150%. So that basically means we doubled and then added 50% more to that, all right? So that's what 18 is. It's a bigger, it, if doubling would make it 100%, that would have been it to 24. We went all the way to 30, all right? So yes, it is 150% markup. And I guarantee you, you'll probably have a price tag on it that says, let's take 40, 50% off, all right? For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.